Hi. <laughs> Wait, before Hi, we start, everyone. I have to tell you guys, if you're not on threads, please at least <laughs> go to threads to see what we posted on there. It will sum up the way I am all the time <laughs> yeah. and how uncomfortable and awkward I always am. And you'll see the real me. Hi guys. Oh, hi ladies. Hey. Hello. My hair mail. Oh, New York Times hey, mom. Hi. I saw Kelly. Kelly, you were you were you were number one. You were the first. <laughs> hi guys. So so happy to see you all joining. And we're really excited to start our third live. Ooh. Yay. Yeah, we have something exciting for this one as well. We're doing another giveaway. So here we go. The beautiful giveaway prize we've got today is our hair care kit. We've got a bottle of shampoo, our conditioner, our revitalize and shine mist, the infamous sea salt spray, a wide tooth comb, and a wig stand. Whoa, so confetti. make sure you guys comment. You can comment whatever you want um, for a chance to enter into the giveaway. Awesome. And this kind of goes um, really well with the topic that we have on hand today, which is tips and tricks to get your wig out of the box and ready to go. Mm -hmm. yep. um, but we're going to start uh, kind of piggybacking <clears throat> off what we did at the last live. So we were doing manufacturing and a number of you guys had asked to see a little bit more about permatease, um, our favorite thing, right? So <laughs> as we learned, permatease is sort of a necessary I guess evil. I mean, some people might really like it. I mean, it does help to cover up the wefts um, and it also helps to give volume, but there are times where I've seen permatease run amok. Um, but again, as we talked about, it really has to do with the fact that all of these are crafted by hand and there's a person actually doing the backcombing. So I'm going to start really quickly by answering one of the questions that um, a number of you had, which was to see the permatease. So we're going to pop that up. I'll show you a quick picture. If you take a look up there, so ooh, we're going down, um, we've got the permatease above you. And what you're seeing right here is there's a finished weft, and we talked about how that happens. So they take that finished weft, the hair's going this way, this is the, the actual thread and the, you know, the thread that it's sewn onto, and they put it into what you see there, that machine. They lay it out flat, they clamp it down. And what you see is the hands of somebody who is holding the weft down and then they're using that little brush in their right hand to back comb. And that's creating that permatease that butts right up against that weft to help to you know, hide it so it's not as exposed and also to give volume in certain places. So I also was able to get one of the guys from the factory to take a video of it and to actually watch someone doing this. So take a look at this. I love it. So you could see her and you see that line starting to form of where the hair is gathering. It's pretty cool. And then she goes back again. So it's bringing it closer to the weft. It's getting a little thicker, a little bit more dense. And then I think this is probably, the, I don't know if she does another one. She might do another one. I don't remember. Yeah, no, another that's row. it. Oh, and then okay. we're done. So that's how permatease is done. It's manually handled like that. So pretty cool. But then it also is a great segue into talking with you guys about, you know, how because these wigs are all sort of individually touched mm -hmm. by different hands and different sections, it might not be exactly the same wig. And sometimes maybe you might have just something a little bit off. Slight variance. Yeah, that you want to maybe deal with. Yeah. So... First things first, Tara's going to take a look at a few styles that are her favorites. Yes. Um, we're going to take them straight from the box, okay? And then we're going to show you, or Tara's going to show you, um, what her favorite things are to do. Kind of small, simple tricks here and there. Yeah, I'm just going to show you, you know, so I have um, an ocean in golden ginger. So I'm just bringing this as if I just purchased it straight out of the box. So I'm going to take it out. Take off the netting. So... I mean, you know, like we said, it might not be exactly the way that you want it, which is good because you can kind of cater it to I have a yourself. I have someone there who likes permatease. I agree with you. Oh, interesting. I, I also, I mean, my hair is so thin, as you can tell. I also kind of sometimes really like the permatease because I like the full hair. So I agree with you. <laughs> I feel like some people either just love permatease or they hate it, you know? Yeah. Like, yeah. And I mean, it, it, it's there. 
You know, yeah. it does a function, but I can also see sometimes the function can be a little bit extreme. I've definitely seen where permatees goes a little crazy and you get these huge bumps. Um, Actually, I'm not going to put it on here because I want to show you. Ooh, yeah, let's take a look at this, guys. So this is Ocean, and she's got a pretty deep lace run, as you can see here. I mean, it's like... I don't know, two and a half to three inches, which is kind of nice. So I personally am a middle part girly. I love a good middle part, um, but most of them are a uh, side part. So I'm actually gonna put this on. Okay, perfect. So I'll I can kind of you. play with it. This is Hudson, by the way. In 628F, she looks beautiful. One thing I do, guys, <laughs> I do wanna show you one thing. I always do, I don't know how many of you guys do this, but I love taking it out of the box and just giving it a good shake. Yeah. Right? I mean, this is like the thing I do. I just love, shake it. Give it shake a good it shake. Up. You know, and then you take a look at it and it just opens all of, you know, it's been sitting in that box. It's sort of cramped in. Yeah. It gives it a little bit of air, brings some life to it. It's like, hello, mm -hmm. come out of the box. It's time to play. It's time to have some fun. You've been in there for a while. Um, I love it. I know. Yeah. New York Time Mom, I love this color too. What I found fascinating though is sometimes this color doesn't translate as well when you actually like see it in a picture or in camera this is one that really in person it's so much prettier i feel like Ooh, Ooh, she is voluminous voluminous because well, i gave it a shake <laughs> i don't like a flat i was like shake shake give it a good so, shake so yeah so i mean so girl. she's kind of like just falling into my face a little bit more maybe than i would want right so i would almost take this and adjust the part in the front a little bit i mean you can move it to the side could you hold that mirror up for yes. me? yes oh absolutely let's take a look at this guys i'm doing mirror okay duty yeah here. so i'm Actually, gonna take this way maybe so you guys yeah can there see. we go Is that better so i'm gonna take her and just kind of shift over some front pieces in the front because you can do that with the deep lace part you can you know move over the part a little bit and i'm just going to kind of adjust her to look the way that i want i'm almost using this as a mirror too i know i think i mean and you guys like let us know what you do yeah you know? i mean you guys do such a great job of just kind of zhuzhing up your wigs like what are some of the little things that you do when you take a wig out of the box we'd love to hear yeah you know i mean i think that these are just tips and tricks that we have, but we know you guys have so many more and we'd love to learn from you as well. Yeah, because you kind of just get there it to go. style the way that you want. So like I'll almost kind of like reshape her curls in the front just so it lays better the way that I want around my face. But yeah, so I mean, I this didn't actually didn't really have to do much. <laughs> it's almost easy. Maybe we should have found ones that had a little more right? problems. With. I mean, I do see a little bit, guys, of this falling in the front. Sometimes all you really need to do is just give it a little little heat mm -hmm. you know and just kind of move the hair back loosen up the there strands a little bit there you yeah go. so it's not like just totally just falling not, yeah it's just a little bit more wearable just a little you bit a little bit of movement there I shifted over the <gasps> part a little bit to Ooh. get it the way that i wanted so. i love that color on you yeah Look i love this. this color it's beautiful i love it, it looks is. great it looks really good with your eyes too Thank brings you. that out I love this. So simple, something that was an easy one. That We're going to move on. One. Yeah, that was an easy one. We're going to move on to some harder ones yeah. um, as we progress. Pull, I'm going to pull out a blaze. Okay, let's do blaze next. So, I'm going to pop these back in the box. See. So blaze is a another lace front with a lace part. Um, so let's see. And so same so ocean doesn't have a lace part but like i said blaze does and the best thing about ocean like tara had said is because it has a little bit of a deeper lace it actually allows you to part it wherever you want you can part in the middle left right you're not stuck with yeah. one side of a part and kind of same with the lace part so you know like i said i love a middle part but even I can adjust this so it's not totally to the side. I'll just move it over slightly. Um, or if you want to make it an even deeper side part, you can do that as well. You've got definitely got some flexibility. Kelly says you look gorgeous in Ocean. Oh, thank you but so much, But then again, Tara looks good in like everything. So That's not really necessarily. Kind of unfair. <laughs> I'm standing here like, okay. Oh, please. <laughs> Okay, so this one's gonna need a little bit more help. So she's, she's definitely really falling into my face, which we definitely gotta fix. But like Grace was kind of doing, like just like adjusting. Do you need a mirror? You're just yeah. using that. Yeah, I can use that. I have been using that, but 
Okay, so she's Tara's gonna take a look yeah, and just sort of adjusting. I'm sorry, I'm so <laughs> short that I'm holding it at my length, my eye length. Whereas so, Tara's not that short. I'm just kind of like trying to loosen up the strands a little bit, just so they're like warmed up a little bit, and I can kind of adjust it and move it back to get it to the way that I want. Oh, it definitely is a little bit better. Yeah, but you can see right at the top area, right here. We've got a little bit of box. It's a little bit, uh, if you look at it, it kind of goes down like this because it's yeah. in the shape of the box. Right here a little bit. Like and it, so it was in here, so it kind of takes the shape there. It does. Bit. And what I would do for this probably, because it's really not that bad, I would probably just spray some water and let it sit out for just a little bit because it'll, you know, kind of flatten it a bit. But I mean, I feel like I didn't have to do that much all to this one either. Why don't we do a little bit of water? Let, let's comb out okay. that part, let it sit, yeah. and then we can show what it looks like. Okay. Okay. How about you guys? Let us know if there's any tips and tricks with certain styles, especially when you get that one that comes out of the box. It takes the shape of the box. Sometimes I can use steam, um, sometimes just spraying with a little bit of water. Uh, just wondering if you guys have anything else that you can kind of give us some tips of what you're doing. Yeah. So right now what we're gonna do is just comb out that zigzag part. Okay, get that part really set. And then what we'll do is spray it a little bit with water. Yeah, and I'm even just shifting mm. the part a bit. Do you want to use the stand here? Or are yeah. you good there? Uh, I can, I can um, put it on the stand so that way it's a little bit closer. Okay, we'll put it on the stand so you guys okay. can take a look at it. There we go, see? So we had a little issue here, a little issue here. Small issues. Yeah, so I'm Oh, just... yeah, wigs the wigs that face flop. There are a couple different things that we can do and I'm gonna show you something. Ooh, hold on. Ooh, I like to pin back what I want away from my face and use steam. Yep, That's absolutely. It's very quick to, to fix the face flop. Absolutely. Yeah. Um, that's great advice. I also have, if there's certain types of face flop, especially the hand tied area, when you get that in a lace front, lace part, I'm going to show you later on what we call massaging the wig because a lot of times that hair is actually kind of tied forward. If it's not from the box, it's really tied forward. So I will, you know, show you guys how to kind of change that direction. Hi, Christy. <laughs> I wish I could hear her say hi back. I know. I feel like I heard her say it. Yeah. Hold on. Okay. <laughs> but yeah, so I just sprayed some water. Oh, let me do some more here. And that's already kind of helped it out for yeah. sure. Definitely, and but I'm yeah, just like I would have to say it down a little bit, just so it really is kind of like getting to the spot of where I want it to be. Absolutely. But yeah, I mean, sometimes water does the trick. Sometimes you need a little bit more, but it's you know, I mean, helping it out a little bit. Yeah, I mean, just see. Yeah, and I mean, absolutely. The other thing, if it's really stubborn and the water is not going to help after you let it sort of set a little bit, I would definitely hit it with a little steam. But right here, this area has definitely become less boxy, has a little bit more of that roundness. Sorry, I'm, ugh, I'm kicking her. So someone asked, is it okay to steam if it's, if it's synthetic, not heat friendly? Yeah, you know what, I think that's a great question. And the thing is, it depends, you know, absolutely. But I, it really depends on your level of comfort and how, um, you know, how comfortable you are basically with using steam. Because there are times if you, I mean, the reason I use steam is because I've worked with wigs, I've made mistakes. You know what I mean, and I've really done. Oh, I've 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 not I've done some pretty harsh things to wigs, but I've I've had the ability to have sort of random wigs laying around so I can play with them first, and now I feel more comfortable with it. So sorry to go on a long rant about that, but if you feel comfortable with it and you're used to using that steam, yes, you can absolutely use it if it's synthetic and not heat, heat friendly. And I'll show you what I'll do actually today. I'll do um, steaming some Jameson, and I'll also. Actually, just Jameson, and yeah. that is not heat friendly. So I'll show you that. Okay, so even that, just letting it sit here a little bit. And by the way, we're using oh yeah, shout out to Wig Studio One. Thank you. I don't know if you guys can see this. They sent um, Tara a, such a cute little bottle. And the spray bottle is so great. We love it. Ours broke, so it's really nice to have one that actually works. <laughs> um, so if you take a look at this, it's getting a little bit better. Yeah. Let it sit, and I'm sure like if we later on could do a little bit of steaming there, that could work. So yeah, something but, simple, I mean, but even that, look at that. Yeah. Right there, it was Already. very square. And now you're getting a mm -hmm. little bit more and it's drying really nicely here. Yeah. Like that. Let's let it sit for a little bit. Okay. Hi from England. Wow. You're from hello. England. Wait, hi from the US. 
<laughs> oh my god, guys, go to threads. Go to threads. I'm so awkward. Okay. Next one. Moving along. Um, um, now let's take a look at Jones. Jones. So, of course, Jones, everyone's favorite. We we love Jones. Sorry, I know we're we're so tired. I'm just here. talking about how much more comfortable we are, and I really think it's great because you guys have made us feel so comfortable. And we're like, right before that, like, wow, we feel really comfortable for this one. Yeah, I know. You Usually know? we do like a whole run through today. Oh, someone from Wales. Wales. This time I'll say hi from the US, hi from Sasha Hawken. And now yeah. you're seeing the real me really yeah. sort of out there. Yeah. But anyway. This is, this is what we deal with with Grace on a daily oh, basis. Oh my God. <laughs> we're exhausted by it. I know, I'm, I'm exhausted by myself. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, so I just pulled this Jones out of the box and I would say she's not as um, textured PC. Yeah, she's not as PC as I was hoping. So I'm gonna take some of our sea salt spray. Perfect. I think Jones is, I mean, sea salt spray is perfect for a style like Jones. And yeah, I mean, there are times when you take it out of the box and I'm, not, I'm gonna tell you if it's, sometimes there's nothing you can do and that's just a wig that is yeah. not one that you can work with and then you contact your retailer, mm -hmm. etc. cetera. Um, but a lot of these are very simple. Some of them are simple, quick trip tricks to some kind of just really with it. yeah you really can just pull Ooh. them out of the box Look and they're great but i feel like it this already like looks so there's much more better. PCness to it yeah absolutely this sprays really nicely i'm a little also. bit crazy like i would i when i first got sea salt spray i was going around spraying everything i was like <laughs> spray spray sponge spray super fun oh yeah Ooh. oh my gosh it's so, like already better what so i would much do better. i would give it a little of course my big thing is always giving it a shake Give it a nice scrunch. I would actually spray back here too. Oh, okay. So you get all the fibers. Okay. So it's not just the top. Yeah. I would scrunch it up a little bit. Especially because Jones, the thing I love the most about her is her texture pieceness. But I also love that if you don't want that, you can make Jones look more chill and mm -hmm. not rocker chic. You know, yeah. I've seen Jones being worn in so many different ways and all the different ways look fantastic. Would you use that spray on Kennedy? Yes. I would say so. Yeah, oh, absolutely. Yeah. If you want Kennedy to have a little bit more texture, a mm -hmm. little bit more PCness, it will work. I used this on Sky and I loved mm. the way it looked. Sometimes when you have a style and it just comes out, it's like all blended together and it's yeah. just this perfect smooth yeah. look, which is great. You know, but if you want a little bit of that movement, yeah. that pieciness and texture, absolutely, that's going to give you it. Just add some texture to it. It's nice. Add a little oh, fun. Whoa. Ooh. <laughs> Hello there. <laughs> Ooh. Let's get this. Super How's cute. How's she looking? I think she looks fantastic. I mean, obviously, if you were going to do this, like, exactly, I would kind of comb that out. Oh, I love mm -hmm. it. I mean, I, as I said, I'm a volume girl, so see what I'm doing? I'm constantly, I'm like, more I know. volume, more volume. I love Jones it. Jones always surprises me. She looks so different on everybody. And I think she looks good on the back. anybody. Yeah. This looks fantastic. Just that little bit of spray, you guys. Yeah. Look at that pieciness. It really Just bringing like... that texture back. The hair frizzing on the back of Looks the great. neck. With which styles? Are you talking about ones that are hitting your neck? That's hard because a lot of times when it is, especially when you're walking around, it's hot, it's rubbing up against your neck. I can definitely yeah. see it kind of frizzing. It shouldn't frizz a whole ton though. Yeah, definitely. Anybody? Yeah, not, sorry. Not, I was going to say definitely not like in the early stages of the wig's life. It yeah. shouldn't be frizzing too much in the back. Anybody have that that same issue maybe who could who could speak to that? Maybe speaking about like hair frizzing at the back of the neck for longer. Any any tips you guys have? I don't have anything off the top of my head. I know. I mean, I, well, I have heard that people use steam on frizziness yeah, in the back to, to tame to, it, to, but to, to keep it from it happening. Oh. To keep it from happening, to be honest, like I know that during the winter, it's always nice to have like something that's a little bit higher up. Yeah. You know, mm -hmm. um, so that at least, oh, sometimes the collars actually make it frizz too. I'm wondering, what do you guys think? I'd like to, I'd like to hear, ooh, TL Wigs Online hey, is here. Hey, um, Yeah, that's a good question. Yeah. Let's, I, see, let's see what everyone else says too. Let's see if we get some, some ideas here. Uh, so she looks fantastic. Thank you. Now, I am going to do something. I'm going to show you guys this. This is... This out of the way. I'm this just is one thing I'm excited Jones to show on. you guys. Let's see. I'm going to get the tripod. Here it is. So, this is a situation, you guys, when sometimes you get a wig and... Sorry, I'm going to scooch down here. And I'm going to show you. This is James. James is gorgeous from my Heat Defined collection. I want you guys to take a look at this. Hi, Allison. So glad. Oh, wait. Someone said... 
After I wear, wear mine, I spray with a detangler and comb through. Yes, absolutely. Catherine, I didn't even think about I'm, that. Yes, I'm wearing Jones. Yeah. So, guys, take a look at this. This is James. James came out of the box like this. Okay, she looks great, but you know what? That This bothers me, okay? Yeah. And see how this piece in itself is going forward. It's separating from the rest of it. Okay, I'm going to try and pull it back, but it keeps flopping. And I know one of you guys asked about face flopping and with steam. Absolutely, you can use it. But there are other methods you can use. Um, and I mean, this is not too egregious, but I really don't, I mean, this is, this would annoy me. Uh, but I can show you guys a good way to handle the situation. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you guys this. Let's see. I want to see if you guys can see this. Can you see how this is kind of sort of tied forward? So if you look at this, when the person was tying this into the lace, they must have, instead of pulling it this way, did a little bit more of an angle and pulled it forward, which is why you can see this section of hair wants to move this way instead of this way. So the strands were tied forward. Yes, slightly. So this is a slight angle. So like we said, you know, people are doing this by hand. So maybe they were doing it quick and they didn't pull this way. They put a little bit more forward. So now you get this situation here. Yes, you can use steam, but let me show you another way to do this. Okay, and this is something that I learned from the factory and it takes a little bit of time, but I feel like it's a really, for me, I feel like it really does um, set it and keep it that way. So I'm gonna change the direction of this hair. And how you do it is you take a very little section by, and I'm a very impatient person, so I would normally just wanna do the whole section, but you wanna take the smallest amount as possible. So I'm gonna take about that much very thin section and see how that's kind of coming forward again i'm going to change that direction so what i'm going to do is we call it they call it massaging it so i'm going to take this pop this down okay and usually you can this is what they do in the finishing section remember i told you guys about that when we were talking about manufacturing i talked to you guys about the finishing section which is the last section in the process of making wigs before it goes to heating and cooling. And in this section is when they sort of finish off the style. And this is when they take a look at some of this stuff to see if, you know, hair's flopping forward. And they actually use a thimble on their finger, on their thumb, and they just massage it down, trying to get it into that direction. This is when you have big thumbs like mine that it becomes very in handy. <laughs> Megan Fox apparently has one of these thumbs, but only one. I have two. I was blessed I with her. I swear she has two, but... No, she only has one. And so look at that. That's already starting to go to the side. Wow, that's so And then crazy. I'll take this, and I'll just sort of kind of really lock it in. And there you go. So that piece is like that. And it's a little bit more. Oh, instead yeah. of coming this way, it's going to come down. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take a little bit more. I will take, actually, a little bit. And you can see how being impatient, I want to just do the entire chunk, but it won't work. It will only, see that piece? You guys see that, how that's like popping up? So annoying. We're going to make this one listen, okay? I'm going to change the direction of this guy. So again, I'm going to do the exact same thing. I'm going to take my thumb. I'm going to do a little massaging, okay? And you can do steam too, but depending on how, you know, serious or severe it is, sometimes just being able to change that direction will allow it to stay. Well, and this is great if you don't, if you've never you used steam before. Good point. You know, like Excellent this point. is a great starter. See that, guys? It Look looks so much better. Give it a little massage, okay? So I'm going to do this Give one. Give it a little one. massage. Give it a massage. <laughs> they call it the massage. Oh, Look at that, you guys. Come on. Look at, Look at this piece. Face flopper. You're a face flopper. All right, let's go. Let's get this guy as well. I'm going to pop that down. I'm going to take my thumb. I'm going to massage it down. There you go. There we go. Okay. And then I'm going to take this and just kind of lock it into place here. It's great to know because it's, even if you don't, if it's not around your face, you can do this in other areas. Yeah, absolutely. And look at that piece. Look at that. No longer do we have face flopping pieces. So right? I do similar, but while wearing as I think the heat yes. from your scalp helps too. Mm. That's a good point. Yeah, that's because it like warms it up a little bit and absolutely. helps you move it better. Yeah, absolutely. Aw, gave you all your wigs and said, "Nah, nah, baby, I'm back." I like, I like, I like the phrase you use, "Nah, nah, baby, 
I'm back. <laughs> Aww. Oh, are you two of those thumbs? Classy sassy mains? Yes, you can do that. Yay, classy sassy mains. We're thumb twins, thumb twins. Thumb awesome. Twins. I love to meet a fellow, you know, I don't know what these are, but big thumb person. Okay, <laughs> awesome. So look at that, you guys. How, I mean, really. That's yeah. fantastic. I'm so excited. Amazing. Now, for the one about Jameson, I am going to show you. Actually, I don't need to take that off. I'm going to put this on. Sometimes, as much as we all love Jameson, one of the issues I see with Jameson that really annoy me, and it's just because it's there, there's only so much you can do when it's packed in the box. I mean, we try our best, and we've gone through so many different situations. But, okay, first of all, let me see. I'm going to pick which side. Actually, this side maybe. Okay, maybe yeah, this side's a better side like... to work on. Because I'm going to do one side because it would just oh, be yeah. forever. So you see how sometimes you get the pieces that are like flipping out and they're not going nicely down and under? You can kind of get this one. Maybe I can find a better Jameson than this because it's, oh, let's try this side too. Hold on. Sorry, guys. I'm, I'm gonna, getting distracted. Wrong, but I like this better. Let me see. Uh, I wonder if I can find, is there a better? No, this is pretty... I'll try this one. What do you guys think? I'm, I'm kind of doubting my decision and feel like I should really? find a, is this an okay? I think, it, I think this is a good one. Okay. A good yeah. example. I mean, cause I can use my hands and get it, but this, this piece back here is really annoying too. Kinda yeah, like it's flopping back a there. Bit. Yeah, so you know what, I'm gonna, I'll start on this side and I'll give you guys an idea because sometimes it's just as easy as just taking your hands, heating and just getting it to go back into place. But, I don't like the way this is looking here. So I'm gonna hit this with a little steam to try and get it to be a little bit more curled under as opposed to out, kind of making its own mind up. All right, I'm bringing the steamer. Bringing out the steamer. The big guy. Jameson is the longest lasting, hardest working wig I've ever had. That's great to hear. You love Jameson, that? Jameson She's a workhorse. Says, Thank you. <laughs> she is. Um, here we go. All right, so I luckily, look at this thing, you guys. This thing's amazing. So this was actually a clothes steamer that I had at my own house, and I didn't realize that you could convert it into a wig steamer, so I just got this attachment. Oh, cool. And this thing is insane, okay? So I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna work this. I'm trying to think. Okay, I'm gonna, sorry, I'm gonna stand on this side. Okay. So I'm gonna let me see. go around here. No, nope. I wish I had one that was like really bad. Let me see. This one's not as bad. But I'll start with, uh, this one's kind of not all together either. All right. I'm sorry. I'm going to start with this, guys. All right. Let's go. Um, yet again, I tend to be very, like, I want to just get it all done quickly. And so I would just usually want to take a huge chunk and move. And that's not going to be good with this. So what yeah. I'm going to do is I'm going to take... Standing right in front of her. Oh, sorry. Let's see. Let's see if that's good. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I will take a little section. I'm going to take this section right here. Okay, and I'm sorry, I probably should have thought this out better, but let's just do that. I feel like I'm not gonna do a good job showing you guys, yeah. I'm gonna try not to stand in the way either. Okay, okay. so what I'm gonna do is, I'm just gonna hit it with steam right there. Okay, I'm gonna bring it down. Hit it with a little steam here. Okay. Actually, I might even use this one, might be better too. And then get that. See how that does a nice job bringing it all together? Okay, so. And I'll just use my hand, kind of get that in. There we go. And then I'll work this section next. I'm gonna pass this to you, Tara. Okay. Then I'm gonna take another little bit. So if you look at this, it's like kind of not, not really cooperating as well. I mean, it looks okay, but I'd like it to all be together. So I'm just gonna take another little section. Okay. I think that looks about good yeah i like that i'll clip this up out of the way all right and see that how it's going like that no yeah so i'm going to actually do this in two separate sections even though i want to do it all at once i'm going to use this brush too this is also another way you can do it if you use this kind of curling brush you could just hit it from the top getting it there very but far away i kind of do it far away what i'm going to do is i'm going to do it this way too so you can see a little bit better and get down to the bottom just kind of so hit. you're not putting the steam directly on, no. you're just kind of holding it far away. Yep, and then just kind of underneath, and letting it curl. So, nice. Yeah, so there you go, see that? Just bringing it better, giving it that, that nice Jameson look, okay? Just getting it to lay better. Yep, and then I'm gonna do 
this here, this last round. Okay. Again, I like Tara how you said, I'm not going right up to it. You know, I always start far, further away because I, it is synthetic fiber. You want to be careful. Mm -hmm. Underneath. Look at that. Oh, yeah. How it, beautiful that does that look? Really right? So we've got this. All right. And then we've got, let's see. Oh, cool. I like that. Um, Allison says I was going to use a heat comb, but I like this better. Okay. Well, I hope that this helps. That makes me happy. Oh, look at that. And see this piece right here? See that? See that? I'm going to deal with that one right now. I'm going to get it to lay nicely like the rest of them. So just super simple, guys. Super simple. Oh, wait, you're in front of the camera. Oh, sorry. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh. I got sprayed by the steamer. You guys, this is, this is dangerous. It's getting dangerous. Okay, <laughs> underneath. A little so bit he said more. it looks like a gas nozzle. <laughs> <laughs> Allison, Who said Allison. that? Allison. <laughs> it looks like a gas nozzle. It looks like a like steamer on steroids. steroids. <laughs> I don't think I should be allowed to hold this. <laughs> I feel like I'm a danger to myself and others, guys. Um, mostly to Tara. Um, sorry, guys. I know I'm right in front of you. I, I hope you guys like my back. Um, okay, so let's see. Let's look at that. Much better. So it's having a little bit more of that nice... Are you planning on doing more petite sizes? You know, I would like to do more petite sizes, but it's, yes, yes, we are, but I can't, I can't tell you when. I don't know when. Um, all right, so you see that difference right there, right? Look how much nicer that hair lays. It just lays so much better. You know, and I would do it to the other side as well. Yeah. And then I would also do it to this front piece because yeah. this front piece now is sort of separated from the rest. So I would do the exact same thing, pull it down, go like that. I guess I should just go ahead. I guess I'll just go ahead just and do, do it. it. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and do it, guys. Okay. Let's, um, but the thing is, again, <laughs> I want to take the huge strand because I'm impatient, and that never works out well. Okay. All right. So, again, actually, I should probably pull this out, too. Pull that out. Stay. Okay. Here we go. <laughs> Someone said, please do more petites. Another person. Okay. So, um, can you guys tell me what kinds of styles you'd be interested in seeing more petites in? So we've got Avalon, we've got Petite Sedona, we've got Petite Easton, you know, and, and we've got the short, we've got the, the longer, you know, we've got the beach wave of Avalon. What would you be interested in? I'd love to know. What types of styles? I've heard, jo I've heard requests for Jones mm. in a petite size. Interesting. I could see that. Jones is such a great style. Yeah. Ooh, okay, let's do last bit. Do we have any do we have any um, suggestions for types of petite styles? Curious. Um, Love to hear what you guys think. Okay. Tracy said I just got done doing three of our customers' wigs using Sorry, this Tara. process. Oh, you did? They send them to me so petite I can box. fix them or make small changes. That's so nice that you do that. That's fantastic. Tracy. I love um, that. Petite Dina, mm -hmm. Petite Jones, Petite Bob. Petite Bob. Okay. Yeah, the Petite Bob's we have are Petite Sullivan, which is essentially um, Jameson in a petite. And then we also have Petite Charm, mm -hmm. which yep. is basically Ellen, yep. and that's a pure stretch cap. But I like the idea of a Petite Dina. Oh, that looks so. Look at that. If you want more curl, you can curl it under a little bit more, but definitely a little bit more together in the hair. And you could see the difference. This side would need some of that as well. It's not terrible, but it could just use a little help. Tracy said they have a, a few customers who really want petite thin. Mm. Okay. Um, oh, I love shoulder length. Also know, love to know how better keep long wigs from tangling. Long wigs in my photo shoots and at my wedding, I love them, but hate the tangling. Yeah, we had someone just talk about um, spraying it, right? And then detangling, mm -hmm. like with detangler and then combing it sort of. Yeah. Absolutely. Fully hand petite, hand tied petite. Ooh, very interesting. I like that. Um, we are, we are, there's a lot of things coming, guys. You know, hand tied is definitely something we're looking into, but we really do appreciate this. Finn, Dina. Petite Jones. Okay. Absolutely. Yeah. I mean, we're always thinking about expanding things. Um, 
We have a couple of really exciting we things do. coming up in the end of May, uh, as well as in next June. month. Yeah, next month is going to be an exciting live. Yes. So, any questions? Any comments? Hopefully, this was somewhat helpful. I know it wasn't, you know, earth shattering, and I'm sure that you guys have your own ways of dealing with this. Especially, you know, we'd love to know because we're learning as well. Um, but we'd love to be able to to do a little quick. Yeah, if you have any other absolutely, questions. yeah, yeah. Price point absolutely down because hand tides are are very yeah high price point. Oh, I'm in life married. That's so nice. We'd love it. <laughs> um, so let's find a Reno. We're gonna put this in a, a name generator. Oh, okay, yeah, for our giveaway. Yeah, for our giveaway. And our hair care giveaway. any questions you guys have, <laughs> any comments, please let us know. So yeah, if there's other uh, live topics you want us to cover? Yeah, absolutely. Next live is gonna be it's gonna be a little different. It's gonna be fun. We hope you guys will all, all join us for that. Oh, I always detangle my long wigs before and after wearing them, and I loved hand ties. So comfortable. Oh, yeah, okay. with sensitive scalps. Yeah. Absolutely, absolutely. All right, let's see. We've got our tech team working here <laughs> on. Um, the name generator and the name generator came up with i cannot say the that out loud is... we're just gonna show it to you is anyone <laughs> yay who is this who is it i i don't know how to say it a knit knit and a tank knit and a tank Huh, I like that. Knit and a tank. Yay. We will DM you so we can get your address to send you these amazing hair products. I agree. I love Jameson too, but for me, I also wish it was less hair. I mean, I would definitely take a look at um, some other bobs. A bob that we have that has less would definitely be um, Merit. That's a little oh, bit yeah. less, a little bit, you know, less yeah. dense. She's for sure. She's comparable to Jones. Yeah, but I, I agree. A I, different style, I really but... like this too. And I look, yeah. I, you know, I definitely put this on, but it doesn't look the best. Or Kennedy. Would love a show showing colors. colors. Absolutely. Okay. Blondes or just mm -hmm. go through all of them. I mean, there's so many we can do. Guys, let us know. And then when we post, you know, tomorrow, um, just letting you guys know about, you know, we always do a post afterwards. Thank you. Here's the link. We'd love to hear from you. If a show on colors, tell us what colors. We mm -hmm. want this to yeah. be your live. We want yeah. you guys to get the information you want and or need. Um, so, yay. All the reds. We oh. were thinking about that, Allison. Absolutely. And Allison, just get ready. Allison and everybody else, we will be getting reds at some point. <laughs> Maybe. Shh. Maybe. I told you guys first because you were on the lie. Don't tell anybody. Don't tell anybody. <laughs> but keep your eyes out. They'll be reds. Um, so, yeah, thank you. I think that's it. Yeah, thank, thank you, you guys so, so much, much for, for joining coming. us. Aw, I'm glad it was helpful. Hopefully it was helpful. And if you guys have any tips or tactics or tricks that you want to share with mm -hmm. us, please do. I know all of us um, would appreciate them and it would be beneficial for everybody. Definitely. Okay. So, have a great Tuesday, everyone, and Bye. thanks for joining us. Thank you. Okay. Bye.